Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you guys hear me? Hello, good evening. Can you guys hear me? Hello, good evening. Can you guys hear me? Me pueden contestar para saber si se me escuchan o no me escuchan. Good night. I can hear you. Okay, wonderful. Good evening. Thank you. All right. Excellent, guys. Um, how are you today? Mm, it was a little tired. Yeah, you're a little tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, but um, but you are okay. Other than tired, you're okay. You're okay with your health. Mm, yes. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, because sometimes you know, there's these um colds that are around right now and sometimes they're very very strong <laughs> tell me i i can tell you about that so i'm glad that you're okay all right hello everybody else um i hope you're doing pretty good um so Um, I have a question for you. How are you guys doing with the platform? Any problems with the platform? No problems yet? Hi guys. Any problems with the platform at this moment? So, uh, so Sigfrido, Mauricio, um, Jose, Carlos. Good evening, Miss. Hi, I'm good evening. At the moment I am driving to my home. I will be in my home in the next 15 minutes. Okay, In the or, or less, okay. maybe maybe already five minutes. Uh -huh. I'm almost alive. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. okay. so guys, um, all right, so I'm going to be taking attendance, guys, so I need your, um, your cameras on. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, so Ana Lorena Lovato. Ana Lorena. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero.
Ok. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. All right. Wonderful. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Ok. Um, all right. There it is. Ok, great. Ulises Torres Torres. Ulises Torres Torres. Uh, Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. José Bernardo López Montes. Present Miss. Wonderful. Uh, José Bernardo López Montes. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, José Carlos Argueta Romero. Present Miss. I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Osman Atilio Serrano. Osman Atilio, eh, Osman Atilio Serrano. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Okay, very good, thank you. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Great, thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. All right, very good. Um, Osman Enrique eh, Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Um, Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. All right, thank you. Um, Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Quinea. Present. All right, thank you. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Y Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Garrigas. Present. Good evening. Good evening, Mina. Uh, Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. 
Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so that. Teacher. Hi. I am here. I am late. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. All I'm right. Still teacher. Sorry. Teacher okay. present as well. Okay. Evelisa Torres. All right. Okay, guys, um, we are going to, oh, before we begin, I wanted to ask you, how are you guys doing with the platform? Any problems, any questions? No? No, for the moment. Okay, so everything is clear so far? Okay, all right, in that case, um, let's start right away with um, uh, the content that we have. Um, okay, so yesterday we started talking about um, our organizational crisis and how there could be different types of organizational crisis. For example, we looked at natural disasters. Um, we have uh, malevolence, product recall, IT system failure, and utilities failure. So let's, uh, let's try to identify which ones are in these categories and cross out the ones that don't belong in these categories, okay? So I'll give you, you know, about a minute or two so you can individually find the word that doesn't belong in each one of these. Okay. Are you guys finished? You guys are ready? We check or no? No, uh, in my case, no yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay.
Okay, can we check now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's check then. So natural disasters. Which one does not fit in this category as natural disasters? Um, the second disaster isn't uh, natural disasters. Infrastructure collapse. Good. Yes, I agree. Very good. So infrastructure collapse is not a natural disaster because it's not caused by nature, right? Um, so the only ones that are caused by nature are hurricanes and earthquakes, okay? What is infrastructure collapse, by the way? Well, depending, many factors can be uh, make the structure collapse. Okay, but what what does it mean? Infrastructure collapse. Um, the build the build fall. The the what build the white falls. The build, build. Building. Building. Bil the building. The building fall. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. Right. Exactly. The structure of the building, um, collapses. Right or it falls. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, but it's, but it's the actual building itself that falls in words it is it's not it, it's not a big it doesn't fall because of a natural disaster right that's an infrastructure collapse okay next malevolence for the pampering What do you guys think? You agree? I agree, teacher. I agree with Lorena. You agree? Oh, tampering. Um, to be honest, teacher, I don't understand the second. Um, word tampering. I don't know. That is a good way to pronounce it. Tampering. Mm -hmm. Uh, tampering means to uh touch something. Um, to be manipulating something. Uh. But manipulating in a like in the bad a, way. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe teach her malicious rumors. Malicious rumors? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you guys think? I think all of them are malevolent. <laughs> 
because product tampering is somebody try to to do some damage to the products. So I think it's malevolence. Boycott is something like people uh, try to make some sabotage, something like that. In the company in malicious rumors is something malevolence too for me <laughs> because they are trying to to make a bad image from the company. So I'm not sure what what going to be um, a level mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I agree with Carlos. You agree with? I agree with Carlos. Okay. So let's say I understand what these concepts are. Product tampering, it means that you are interfering, touching, manipulating something in a way um, that damages, uh, like in order to cause a damage. Okay, that's product tampering. So, so basically, you are tampering, you are manipulating, you are touching, you are altering a product um, to cause damage. Okay. Yes. Boycott. What is boycott? In Spanish, no lugar. Uh, tampering. I do, I'm not sure. The only thing is that with with I, I don't know with ma uh magullar is it I understand that's only for market, yeah uh, when the, the people touch the vegetables. Right. But exactly. So but they only, damage. Yeah, they damage it, but the only problem is that that's only if I understand well. Magujar is only um, used for like uh, like foods, mm -hmm. but but you can't use it for other things, right? No sé, es, es, estoy, manipular, estoy... manipular el producto. Ajá, uh -huh. it's more like product yeah. tampering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's more like but manipular. manipular in the bad way. Yeah, manipular. Eh, ma manipular algo de, de que de que lo toca y, y que lo con la idea de dañarlo mm -hmm. exactly okay okay what is boycott mm. maybe when some people be agreed for to affect the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't buy, don't sell, but the whole but, people have this the same idea at the same time. But why? Why do they do that? What's what's their motive? Uh, because maybe uh, they are disappointed with something in the company. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, no, right. Yeah. So, um, so it's it, yeah. It's a it's a form to show that you are disapproving something, mm -hmm. that you. It's like a punishment. It's mm -hmm. a punishment for something that is badly done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, for example, it's like okay, we like okay. So everybody in this class, we're not going to be buying from that from that company because that company um i don't know uh then the, they don't pay enough 
no no maybe no it's more like it's because it's a punishment so um mm. it's a, okay because that company um they sell snow. pollute they 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 they, they, they um they pollute the environment they don't they don't uh um they don't get rid of their waste properly and they are polluting the mm. uh the the you know the river mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we're going to boycott them which means we're not going to buy any of their products anymore so it's a punishment yes okay it's a punishment for something that is badly done is to show that you disagree that you um yeah that you disapprove what they are doing okay mm -hmm. next malicious rumor what is the malicious rumor people say something bad about the company but is a gossip because maybe it's not true mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly Okay, I yeah. A, uh, so in that case, the second one is we can cross out boycott because the boycott is the people do it because it's a punishment. No, it's not it's not malevolence, just is it's a punishment. Okay. Uh somebody was gonna say something. Um Rafael, you were gonna say something? Or I don't know, get it. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Malicious uh -huh. rumors can be true or or definite or isn't true totally. Um well it's basically um it's it it rumors are um things that yeah a rumor could be true. But the idea with the with malicious rumors, because it's not just rumors, it's rumors can be true or they can be false. But malicious rumors are saying things about somebody or or about a company or you know whatever, with the with intent, yeah, with the intent to ruin their reputation, to ruin uh the. The person's or the the company's um, good name uh, to cause them embarrassment. Okay, that's malicious. Okay, rumors. the objective of these rumors um, are be damaged. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. So. Yes, it can be true. Like, I mean, rumors can be true or not. And that's not a problem. The problem with malicious rumors is that they are spread. These rumors are spread with the intention of creating um, a bad reputation or embarrassment. Okay. Because sometimes, I mean, even like celebrities, sometimes they, they, they themselves cause a rumor about themselves, but it's not malicious, right? Because what they want is for people to start talking about them so that people can remember them. That's that that's a that's a rumor, but malicious rumor is starting a rumor about someone with the intention that you want to harm them. So which one would it be then? I believe that for tampering. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Yes, I agree because the boycott objective is uh the the enemy can win can't win or damage the the other the other it part is more I evident think. the damage that 
uh, they can uh, obtain maybe. So product tampering is that you you handle a product and you damage the product. Um, and usually uh, the this is done by somebody internal, okay, an internal source uh, that damages yeah. the product. They they damage the product on purpose. So, what would be the answer? Hello. Which one is not from this list? I think boycott because it's just a way to show my disapproval. Right, exactly. So boycott is the one that because it's here it's when we say malevolence we're talking about the motive of a person okay so here uh, the important thing is not what what is is not actually what they do but the motive that they do it with product tampering you are handling the product you are manipulating and changing the product so um, to cause damage. Here also, you're trying to cause malicious rumors, you're trying to cause damage to the person's or to the company's reputation. So there is a motive that is bad, whereas boycott is not a bad motive. A boycott, it, the, the motive is let's punish this person or this company because they're doing something that is bad. So let's punish them. Let's show them that this is not right, that we do not agree with what they're doing. That's boycott. So the, the, the motive is not bad. The motive is actually quite good. The motive of boycott is good because um, the idea is to motivate the company to change their their bad ways does that make sense yes um in this case boycott isn't um malevolence no no because the because the motive is not bad. Um, I confuse because uh, boycott for me is the mo the mo mo motivation uh, is make a uh, a damage or or not. Okay, it's it's it, the motivation. Okay, but what? Why? Why? It's not actually that. It's, they're not trying to make a damage. They're not damaging the company. What they're trying to do is make the company reflect, and and uh, yeah, to make a reflection that what they're doing is bad. Yeah, it's to express. Uh, dissatisfaction with what the company is doing so that the company does not continue doing that. So to give you an example, um, I have a company. My company is called, um, I don't know, 
Jessica Enterprises. And but you find out that my company is doing illegal things. Okay, so um, my company is, uh, for example, uh, la they're doing laundry, uh, they're laundering money. My company is laundering money. Do you understand laundering money? Yes, it's an illegal activity. Yeah, so yeah, doing some illegal activity to get, to declare, um, Capitals. Yeah, to yeah. So but like for example, um laundry money would be like um let's say selling drugs in another country um and getting money from that. So I cannot declare that money. So instead I launder it. So I make it look like it's good money, but it's not good money. It's bad money. So imagine my I have a uh an a company it's called Jessica Enterprises and I I have this company just so that I can launder uh, launder money. And you find out about it. What do you do? Well, you stop buying from my com company. You stop buying and you, you try to make everybody stop buying from my company because what I'm doing is bad. So you're punishing me for doing something bad. Does that make sense? That's boycott. Okay. Does is is that clear for you, or or are you still not sure about it? Um, I will share in the dictionary because I I really confused about the the term. Okay, you're confused about what I'm explaining, or you're confused because of how you use it in Spanish. Um, because I I I think it's synonymic of sabotage. Yeah, no, no, it isn't. Um, I'm not sure. I have a feeling that how people use it in Spanish is not a correct way, because um, boycott is the idea like. Boycott is something that we like legally you can do a boycott in the sense that um, you can uh, like do manifestations even for people to stop buying um, a certain product. And that's a boycott. And that's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Malevolence, though, is usually done quietly. Okay. For example, malicious rumors. Who started the rumor? Nobody knows. It's done in silence because the person who started the rumor doesn't want to let everybody know that they started the rumor. Product tampering. The person who, who did the product tampering also is quiet about it. They're not going to say, I tampered the product. They're going to be quiet about it. They're not going to let anybody know. But boycott, I can be very upfront and I can say, I we're we're going to create a boycott for this company because they're doing something illegal. So I can I can say it with all rights, uh, we're boycotting the company. There's nothing wrong. There's no illegal thing about boycotting. Whereas the other ones, it's something illegal. Does that make sense? Because we're talking about malevolence. So something that is done with a bad, like trying to make something that is, yeah, with bad intentions. Boycott is not bad intention. Boycott is, is trying to look... 
boycott, we could even say that it's like a, a way of finding justice. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, product recall. <clears throat> Altered products, misbranded products, mm, software failure. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. I think is the number one adulterated products. Altered products? Al al alterated, sorry. Alterated products? Alterated products. Yes. Software failure? Software failure? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so um, we have to understand what is what is product recall. What is product recall? When you need to return the product uh, to the factory a company for uh, anything situation yeah so yeah exactly so you you let's say you return or you exchange or whatever a product because you find out that the product is not in good conditions it's not what you expected Okay, but not from what you expected, um, you know, because like a personal um, opinion, right? It's This is something having to do with the actual uh, quality of the product. Okay, so which one of these would be showing that there's something wrong with the product? I agree with Anna, maybe software fail, fail. Yeah, exactly. Software failure. Okay. Because altered product, uh, also alter, alterated product, obviously means that the, we change the product. Right? Alterated product. The word, you, you even the word in Spanish, it sounds like the word in Spanish. I, Alter, adulterado, right? So that's bad, right? Like if you have a product that has been changed, that has been al alter um, adulterated, then obviously it's not good. That's so people are going to take back the product because it's not a good quality. And misbranded products, what is misbranded products? What does that mean? It's a product that is not educated the right way. That is not what? It's a product that is that isn't branded in the right way. Right. Um yeah, Maybe exactly. Labeling, but yeah. labeling. It's not yeah. labeled. It's not labeled in the correct way, exactly. So um you know, the label says one thing, but the product is something different right so that would like just imagine i don't know something like um um like imagine that we have a product 
that it's like bleach. Okay, let's say we have bleach. And uh, oh no no oh maybe no let's let's no let's say that it's we have a stronger product like uh, I don't know acid an acid product, um, and we label it as bleach. That's a big problem, right? Because um, the people are going to be using it like bleach, but it's not bleach; it's acid. So that's misbranded product. Okay, so. If I find out that the product that I bought, I bought it as a bleach and it's not bleach, then I'm going to return it. I'm not going to want it, obviously. That's really bad. Okay. Does that make sense? So far, so good? So far, we understand this, or it's it's not clear. Uh, no, I, I am not agree with this selection because if we are talking about product recall, uh, for example, if I buy a new cell phone mm -hmm. and the software filer, I go back and I give the cell phone back and maybe ask for my money, refund the money, or they change my my cell phone, my new cell phone. Um, when it says here software failure, we're not talking about the pro of the product. We're talking about the in in intern. We're talking about here the internal, um, the manufacturing the company. They inside, have a problem inside. inside. Exactly. Not the product. Not the finished no, product. No. Oh, because, okay. 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 Because because the product doesn't necessarily have to be electronic. We're, no, we're not talking about necessarily oh, yes, an electronic yes, product, yes, right? Exactly. Like yeah. a t-shirt. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It could be a t-shirt, um, right? And um, yeah, or maybe not a t-shirt, but because misbranded product may not apply necessarily to a t-shirt. But like I said, maybe, uh, I don't know, like some sort of, like food, imagine. Like, yeah, some sort of food product. Or it just imagine, and it, it could be like misbrand. For example, imagine, imagine the um, I buy milk, and the 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 expiry date on the milk, the lay on the label, it says that it's it's good for three last more year, weeks. For example, mm. or yeah, or for three more weeks, for example. But mm -hmm. when I open it, it's already it's already spoiled, right? Then it's obviously. Uh, uh, it, it's either, either alterated, an adulterated product, or it's uh, it's a misbranded product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? Okay. All right. I he's. Now here, now we're talking about the the IT system failure. Okay, so what could be an IT system failure? Maybe sabotage. Sabotage. So I don't know. Sabotage. <laughs> sabotage. <laughs> but in Spanish, it's sabotage. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sabotage. Sabotage. Very good. Okay. So which is different from boycott? Let's not confuse the term, the two terms. Sabotage and boycott are two different things. Sabotage does have malevolence in mind. Boycott doesn't. Okay. So it's it's about it's about the motives. Okay. So sabotage, yes, that is malevolence, okay? If I'm gonna sabotage you, it means that I'm doing something to make you, um, to, to do something to harm you, okay? That's sabotage. Now, hack, now hacking is obviously done also, it's, it's, it's um, actually,
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hacking, uh, if, if somebody has hacked you, is ha has hacked your system, then they've gone into the system and there's obviously gonna be, the system is gonna fail. Server malfunction, the same thing. Um, the system is gonna fail because there is a malfunction in the server. Okay. So far so good. Any questions, guys? You can ask me. Okay. All right. Let's continue with the next one. Uh, utilities failure. Power outages, terrorism, gas outages. Terrorims, maybe. Terrorims, yeah. Terrorism. Yeah. Okay, this is terrorism. Terrorism. Okay. Terrorism. Make sure we have the M at the end. Okay, yes. And yes, very good. Terrorism. That would be a that is not a utility failure. So utilities, what are utilities? Utilities are all of those necessary services. Okay. So power, that's a that's a like to have energy, the energy um we need that service to function, right? You can't have a it's going to be very, very difficult to make a company function if there is no power. And gas, some places also uh, function with gas, right? Um, instead of power, they use gas. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? Is this pretty clear for everybody? Yes, yes, it's clear. Okay, so everybody's clear? Any questions at all? Okay, all right, perfect. All right, so in that case, I have some questions that I wanted to ask. Um, let's first erase this. Okay. So has your company planned ahead for possible crisis? So think about your company. Has your company planned ahead? Do you know if they have planned for natural disasters, malevolent product recall, IT system failure, utilities failure. Yes, in my yeah. company, it sees a uh, department, crisis department, mm -hmm. and they try to get um, the most common situation, and they made some plan to resolve it as fast as possible and then pues, they try to imagine a difficult situation that is not common mm -hmm. and like other situations they make a new plan mm -hmm. to avoid the situation or something to something to do in, in the case that happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good. All right. What about the rest of you? What do you know about your company?
maybe teaching in the industrial company uh, when they have a, a power outage or something like that they they install a power plant mm -hmm. because they they don't want to stop the product maybe it's a solution that they adopt in in their plants okay good 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 what about the rest of you do you know of any ways that your company has planned ahead No? Okay. Um, all right. So, with, yeah. Yes, um, sorry, in my, uh, in my company, uh, I think uh, we had a evacuation plant uh, for, uh, for uh, earthquakes. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, fires. Fall, fires, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How do you say uh, in incendio? Fires. Fire. Fire, fires. yes. Fires, earthquake. Uh, or maybe intern inter problem. Yeah. Or maybe what? Algún problema interno. Okay, an internal problem. Okay. Internal problem, yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, we are going to, I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment. Okay, Um. please tell me if you are able to see my screen. No, for the moment. Not yet? No, no. yet. No, no yet. All right, let me try this again. How about now? Yes. From now, yes. Okay, perfect. All right, good. So we have two questions here. Does your company have a, conten a contingency plan in case a crisis occurs? Should an organization have a, a reaction team in case of emergencies? Do we understand these two questions? Uh, in the first question, I'm not sure what is the meaning of occurs. Occurs. Occurs happens. Okay. To happen. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ocurre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I understand both. Okay, good. What about the rest of you? Do we understand the questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right. So I want, I would like you guys to discuss these questions in small groups. Okay. Uh, which I will be creating uh, in, in right now in a few, um, in a minute or so. Let me just uh, send you guys first the in a second. I'm going to send you guys uh, through WhatsApp. Okay, please. Um,
Please tell me if you have received it. Not yet? Yes, if there is yes. in the WhatsApp group, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, all right, so um, I'm going to be putting you guys into breakout rooms and I'd like to discuss those questions. So um, you you're gonna have like about four, like uh, about four people in the group. So I want everybody to be discussing the questions, okay? Um, I want everybody's opinion. There's no right or wrong answers, okay? So just, it's just discussing uh, what you guys know about your companies. All right. Are we ready? Do we have any questions? Ready. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's open the groups. For a lot of situations, commons and not commons, and natural disasters too. And they prepare us in that case. So, yes, in my company, yes. What about you, Eduardo? Your company does exist? Mm, okay. In my case, I, I was thinking it's a really interesting question, but it's necessary that your company had a, a very specific plan if you want to avoid a catastrophe in your company. But I think in, in the company, in, in the company that I was working, I consider that they are not capable to handle that situation because they don't have any experience about it because they, uh, they didn't have any, any bad experience before. So you know this, so it's according that, that your experience that you had, you can make the, the plan, mm -hmm. but maybe you, you have to be just careful with whatever thing in the in the, in the the area. But I think it's, they are not capable. They don't capable to help. Uh, the members are of the, uh, all departments, quality, shipping, production, uh, coding. Uh, this this team gives a uh, give first a day they is primer auxilios first aided first aided first, first aids first aids first aids mm -hmm. first aids mm -hmm. yes uh, this this the members of the team uh is uh, in training, following training, yes. Uh, all uh, all that. This team also uh, have the responsibility. Uh, have the responsibility first aid aid uh, for uh, a bad situation, uh, earthquake, fire. Um, uh, ah, that, that's all. Okay. Uh, I want to share something additional. For example, in the public, uh, for example, the we have some. How do you say auditorias? Uh, yes, assessment. No, not assessment. Uh, no, it's, it's evaluation. Yes. It's evaluation. It's like evaluation. I mean, audit. Okay. Audit. So in, in that case, if you don't have a team to be in charge of the 
in case of the fire, we have a uh, different people in charge of the evacuated, the different areas in the production plant and uh, administration areas and uh, uh, other facilities of the company. Um, so we have a, a, a plan to the, the evacuation uh, in case of the, the how do you say, the rames. Sorry, what was the question? What was the question? Derrame. What is Derra it? How do you say derrames? Derrames. Spills the hard oh. materials. Spills the hard materials. The, the personnel is in charge of the evacuate the, the personnel of the areas and uh, put safe at the 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 coworkers in a uh, meeting point uh, for each uh, for each event or crisis have a uh, different people in charge of of the handle of the situations. Uh, uh, in my company, we are prepared for a fire disaster. We have brigading to fight the fire, but is a team prepared for that situation. Okay. In my case, uh, the uh, some uh, some situation that uh, can uh, can be uh, generate this uh, disaster or crisis is, for example, the the hacking because in my company the the software is the principal uh, active and. Um, we have the essential service in the cloud and we make uh, daily backups mm. uh, in case the, the hacking attack, for example, in ransomware, for example, that affect the, the, the service, the essential service. Uh, we have all the, 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 the essential service uh, in a cloud that uh, in another place, mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, in Huawei Black. Hello. Hello. Hello, Secfrido, Rafael, José Salvador, Carlos. No one is this in this group? No hay nadie en este grupo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, in my company, it's the, it's the same. Uh, at least one people or one cloud, cloud or area. 
yeah. need to need to be part of the pre eight team. I'm not sure. <laughs> for for this reason, all of the areas in the company. Mm, no, no, that happened in in the emergencies or 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 another. Yeah, they they know that happened when the when the emergency occurs. Yeah, in my in my company, it's same because you have to simulate every month, and you have to practice the the plan, the emergency <laughs> plan, <laughs> and you know, but what do you do in in that case? But yeah, the the team that they select that people each for each department is. There is a, a people that they have to train in a lot because, for example, they, they have to practice or they have to make a course or do a course and, and primero auxilios first. I don't know, remember. First aids. Is, first aids, thank you, miss. Mm -hmm. First aids, yeah, they have to, to do the, the, the certificate. Okay. All right. So I think most people are back now. So my first question is, does your company have a contingency plan um, in case of a, a crisis occurs? Yes, maybe you want to share? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they have plans about different situation. Common and not common in my case. I'm okay. working in a center, so they have a lot of uh, sites. So they have a lot of a lot of experience for, for, for that uh, situation. Mm -hmm. And they can avoid some situation because they um, leave it before. Mm -hmm. okay. So they in, in that case, they make some plans and they share it with the staff or the or the person who needs to know it. And put the plan ongoing if, if it is necessary, right? Okay. Okay, good. Thank you for sharing. Okay. What about the others? Can you tell me a little bit about your your company? Yeah, my company, they share... Uh... Uh, we are prepared for fire catastrophe. 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 Uh, we have uh, brigade. A what? Um, brigada. Brigada. Oh, okay. Brigada? Um. Br uh. Brigade. No. Brigade. No. Brigade. Brigade mm -hmm. uh, to fight to fire, but it's a team prepared uh, for that situation mm -hmm. and evaluation for evacuation. Time are made. Uh, oh. uh, I, my company, prepare with the uh, Ear quite. What do you say, terremoto? Ear earthquake. What do you say? Earthquake. Air 
earthquake. Mm -hmm. Do prepare an earthquake. Okay, very good, very good. What I have the... check and list. I have check and list for for different situations. Situ situ situations. Different situation. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Good. What about the rest of you? Or what about your your company? Is it is it prepared? Does it have a plan? In my case, teacher, uh, we have the company. We have a disaster recovery plan mm -hmm. for different situations. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, we started up the plan mm -hmm. in a test environment. For in November, we need to execute this plan, but in a production environment. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, what about the rest? Okay. All right. What about the next question, which was, uh, should an organization have a reaction team in case of emergencies? What do you think? Should there be a reaction team in case of an emergency? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. In my case, I have been a trainer. Mm -hmm. in, in like a firefighters mm -hmm. and um, first ad, I think. Primera auxilios, first ad. First, first aids. First aids. First aid, aids. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they gave me a training uh, with the Cruz Roja. And the Red Cross. The Red Cross. That is proper name, right? Uh, yes, we could say Red Cross. Okay. Yeah. So with the Red Cross, and I spent with them maybe one month, and they give me later uh, my diploma. Mm. So in my case, the group was formatted with maybe 20 persons, mm. 20 people. 20 people. Yes. Okay, interesting. Only that. Okay, very good, very good. What about the rest of you? What do you think? Should should there be an emergency team? Yeah, I think it is necessary. For example, in my company, there is a factory. Uh, we have a. Uh, a brigade, a special brigade that they are trained uh, with first aid, uh, combating fire. So we have a lot of accidents sometimes. Uh, they have to immobilize someone, uh, take it to the to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But they they give first aid treatments first before to take take that person to the hospital because it is too dangerous uh, even though we have a, a nursery to help with that kind of situations mm -hmm. and we have a committed to to organize in some natural uh, situations like earthquakes or I don't know something like that that organize, organize people to get out uh, as fast as they can and evaluate the, the infrastructure before getting the job again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right. Um okay, let's um let's continue then. We're going to read this conversation between Nina and Jill. All right, and they're gonna be discussing um their company, okay? Uh so let's um let's listen and repeat. Did you hear about our, our competition? Did you hear about Did you hear about our, our, our competition? About our competition? Did you hear about our competition? About there is a rumor about their CEO. There is a rumor about their CEO. Mistreating his employees. Mistreating his employees. And it is out everywhere on the internet. And it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee. It must be an employee. Trying to sue the company. Trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue. This they could have, have prevented, prevented this, this, this issue. But their public relations department. But, but their public, public, public relations, relations department, department is not that solid. It is it's not, not that, that solid. solid. I think so too. I, I, think think so so I think so too. I think so too. When the rumor went online, when the when rumor, rumor went, went online, 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 the PR department, the, the PR, PR department, department, department should have called for a press conference. Should call have called call for a press conference. conference. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. There is even a video. There is even, even a video. video. And pictures out there now. And pictures, and pictures out, out there, there now. now. Our PR department. Our PR, PR department, department. Wouldn't have allowed the situation. Where? How we would have allowed the situation. situation. Wouldn't have allowed the situation. Wouldn't to have allowed, allowed the situation. situation to come this far. To come this, come far. this, this far. far. I hope they find a way. I hope they find, find, they find, they find a way. way. I hope they find a way <laughs> out of this pinch. Out, out, out of, of this pinch. pinch. Yeah. All right, good. Questions about the vocabulary, and you can write in the chat like we've done before. Um, Sue? Uh, you can write in the chat. Okay, right, right in the chat so it'll be easier.
sólido. Llamando press conference, press conference. Conference, press, press conference, press conference. Is that it? Anything else? Okay. All right. Um, so the first word is oh, internet. Are you sure you're not sure about the word internet? This is the meaning, the meaning of the words. Mauricio, ¿no, no sabe la palabra internet? Or, the, or la pronunciación. What are the two? The pronunciation. Oh, okay, okay. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay, all right. Right now we're just looking at the vocabulary, not the pronunciation. Okay? Okay, okay. All right, so the first word we have here is mistreating. Mistreating. And mistreating means um, to the way that somebody treats, the, it's treating them in a bad way. It's it's acting badly towards that person. Okay? That's mistreating. So acting badly towards the person. Having a bad behavior with the person. Okay? How do you say that in Spanish? Hmm? How do you say mistreating in Spanish? Maltratando. Maltratar. Uh -huh. Maltratando. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Everywhere. Everywhere means in all places. In all places. Oh, okay. All places. Yeah. In all places. Okay, in all places. Okay. To sue is to take somebody to court and take a legal action against someone. Okay, to take, take someone to court in order to um, make legal action against okay that's to sue 
Does that make sense? Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, we have solid. It's very similar to Spanish, right? Um, solid, like that it's like firm. Okay. Something that's solid is something that is firm and established, well established. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, and then we have press conference. A press conference is um, a meeting with all of the media. Okay, the meeting, meeting with all the media. Okay, so. Uh, when we're talking about media, we're talking about like reporters uh, from from news the from newspapers, magazines, from radio shows, uh, radio yeah program programs, and um, from news broadcasts. Okay, do we understand press conference? Yes. How do you say press conference in Spanish? Conferencia de prensa. Conferencia de prensa. Yeah, conferencia de prensa. Okay, very good. Um, then we have far. The far means um, a like a long distance. Okay, so. For example, um, I don't know. Um, the distance, the, the I don't know. Uh, going to the United, like traveling by plane to the United States is is far. Sorry, it's it's long. Takes a long time because. It's very far, so the distance is very long. Okay, so how it's do you a long distance. Sorry? It's a long distance. Long distance, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So far in Spanish is? How do you say far in English? In Spanish, sorry. Lejos. 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 Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, to find a way out. A, yeah, an exit. Say. Okay. An exit. And this pinch. Uh, it's like a, a tight situation. Okay, it's a tight situation. It's a, or a tight or a difficult situation. I can say tight or difficult situation. Okay. Do we understand? Apuro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. 
All right, any questions? No, you sure? No, not the sure. You sure you don't have any questions? Okay, perfect. All right, how about uh, pronunciation? You can write in the chat now words that you don't, and you're not sure about the pronunciation. Words that you don't know the pronunciation. Yeah. You can write in the chat. Really? No words? Anything else? All right, I can't find the word tight. In the end, after a pinch. Oh, in my definition. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That it. Okay. I was looking in the in the in the conversation. Get it? Okay. All right. So we have the word is internet. Internet. Yeah. Internet. The internet. Yeah. Or, or it's yeah. also possible to say internet. It's also yeah. another way we yeah. can pronounce it. Inner. Internet. 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 Okay. Yeah. So internet or internet. Okay. Sue. 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 Mm -hmm. Allowed. 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 Yes. Allowed. Allowed. Yeah. Yes. Pinch. 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 Yes, pinch. Pinch. And tight. Tight. 
tight. Yeah, tight. Tight. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, very good. Okay. And that's it. So what I'm going to ask you to do then now is to um, to practice this conversation with a uh, with a partner. Okay. So I'm going to be I'm going to be um, putting you guys into breakout rooms. Um, and you're going to be practicing this conversation between Nina and Jill. So you're going to take turns. Once you can be Nina, another time you can be Jill. Okay, and please tell me when you have received my the, the picture. Yes, I see it in the WhatsApp group. What wonderful. Okay, so all right, so I'm going to open up the groups right now. Ready? Here we go. if you want. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Christina? Nina Christina? and Jill. <laughs> I want yeah. to be... Want to practice, let's do it. What do you want to be? I will be Nina. I will be Jill. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employee and it is out anywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to shoot the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations the department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for the press conference. Oh, that's it. I'm this far. I hope to find a way out of this page. Okay. I'm going to be Nina and you're going to be Hill, okay? Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor. Are you more about your uh, for sharing the the people? I am Nina. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rum rumor about the CEO mistreating his employees, and it is out everywhere on the internet. Uh, it might be an employee trying to sue. The company they could have a prevent this use this issue but their public relation department is not that solid. I think so too. When the former went online, the PR department should have called for a press confer conference. Yes. There is even a video and picture up there now. Our PR department bullying have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. 
They find a way out. They find a way out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now Mauricio and Wendy. And Wendy. Wendy I Nina. Okay. Okay. Do you Did... do you do you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mystery his employee and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must, it must be employees trying to sue the company. They could have a preventive the use way, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When we remote went online, the PR department should have a call for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have a allowed the situation to, to come the far. I hope they find a way of, of the spins. Okay. Again, Wendy with Lorena. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Empieza Lorena. Empiezo yo? Sí. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their seal mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet it must be an employee trying to see the company they call have prevented this usage but their public rela relation department is not that solid i think so too when the rumor went online the PR department should have called for a press conference yes there is even a video and picture Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, so let's see if we can complete these sentences according to the conversation. It shouldn't be too difficult. So look at the conversation and let's see if we can complete right here what it says. So it says they, da, 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 this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. So what should go there? They could have prevented. They could have prevented. Good. They could have prevented. Okay. Very good. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. Next, when the rumor went online, the PR department Will have color. What? We will have color. Good. Good. Should have called. Should have called for a press conference. And finally, our PR department 
wouldn't have wouldn't allowed. Have allowed. Wouldn't have, have allowed. allowed the situation to come this far. Good. All right. Excellent. Good job. Now, so this is actually what we call this is the past perfect model verbs. Okay, that we use to talk about hypothetical situations. So, so this is another conditional, okay? Because we're talking about the past. We're talking about how things, how you think things should have been different in the past. Now, we cannot change the past. It's impossible to change the past. Therefore, it's, a, it's an imaginary situation. It's a conditional. Okay, so um, well, it's not really a conditional, but it is a hypothetical situation. It's an unreal situation because it's impossible to to change the past. Okay, so um, it says here, use the past perfect model verbs to talk about situations that didn't happen in the past. So we're just talking about hypothetical situations okay now the it says here use perfect past perfect modal verbs what are the modal verbs do you guys remember what are the modal verbs go can go to exactly so here we're going to be using basically three of them. We're going to be using could, should, and would. Those are the, the, the three ones that we're going to be using. Okay. Now, what's really nice about this, about this structure, is that everything else is a is going to be exactly the same for all of them. So we're going to be using have, okay, have, always have, not had, not has, not have, having, it's always going to be have, okay? And after that, we're going to be using the past participle. Remember, remember, I told you a while ago. If you have, if you don't, if you don't know your past participles yet, you've got to study them, and it's because of this because we're going to continue going back to the past participles. So if you don't know them yet, you got to learn them. Okay. All right. So always use past participle. So could have past part uh, past participle should have plus past participle and would have plus past participle okay now the question is why do i use the past participle sorry what do we, why do we use each each modal for well could we use it to express something that was possible in the past or to express that someone had the ability to do something in the past but they decided not to. Okay. So, so the, you say that it's a possibility in the past, or that somebody had the ability to do it to do it in the past, but they didn't do it. Okay. That's what we use the could could for. We use um should to make a suggestion in the past or also to say that something would have been a good idea in the past but it wasn't done okay it was it, it would have been a good a very a very good idea to do it but it wasn't done, okay? 
and we use we use uh, wood to show past willingness. Okay, in this case, if we if we use this one, it is similar to the third conditional. Uh, in, but in this case, we do not need an if clause. It's not necessary. Okay, it's not required. Does that make sense for everybody? So could is showing us possibility or that somebody had the ability to do, do something in the past, but they didn't do it. Should is making a suggestion in the past or saying that you think it was a good idea to do in the past, but it was not done in the past. And would is very similar to the third conditional, just that it's different from the third conditional, we don't need the if clause. Okay. Sounds good? Yes, but maybe we can uh, touch this. Uh, this tema. Topic. Now this topic tomorrow. Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm just okay. introducing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. All right. Sounds good, everybody. Do we understand the theory up to this point? The theory. Not, not the actual practice. Just the theory. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So we'll we'll continue with this tomorrow, of course. Okay. So we're gonna stop sharing there and I'm just gonna take attendance. I'll do this very quickly. Okay, so Okay, Ana Lorena Lobato, Orellana. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Emerson Ulises Monroy Cal Calix. Present. Eh, Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Ileana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. José eh, Bernardo López Montes. Present. José Carlos uh, Arquita Romero. Present. José uh, Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Great. Uh, Osman Atilio Serrano. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Presentes. Kevin Alfredo Lucero, Menentes. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Uh, oh, by the way, Mauricio, um, eh, yeah, so um, it's it's your turn. You can you can stay today. Uh, for the 10 minutes, okay? Um, the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Maire Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Present, teacher. 
Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Sena Díaz. Present. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. A Sandra Present teacher. Ok. ¿Quién? Sandra Abigail Poniacano. Acano. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Quinea. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Y Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So that's it. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow and I will just stay with Mauricio. Okay. So take care. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, Mo. Hello, teacher. Um, oh, no, no, no. No, a usted ya le había tocado, ¿verdad? Sí, ayer. Uh -huh, ayer le tocó. Bueno, pero eh, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo, cómo lo ha sentido eh, hace el momento los, um, los ejercicios de la plataforma? ¿Ya, ya, ya todos um, le encajan ahora? Eh, solo uno no me encajó, teacher. Eh, 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 que no sé qué me pasa con la máquina aquí, pero traté de borrarlo todo y volverlo a hacer y, y solo esa no me pega. Okay. La hice en otra, o solo la hice en una otra computadora. Tampoco. Ok. ¿Verdad? ¿Quiere compartir conmigo cuál es? Yes, eh, es, es, eh, 2.8, la uh -huh. 2.8 en, en la parte 2, que es Steel Conditioner y Steam. Attended the meeting, he would have missed the chance to get a promotion. Ya lo revisé. Y no sé, yo creo que. Me, me, lo escri me escribe, por favor, en el chat, lo que exactamente bueno, como lo escribió. Bueno, ahorita le digo. Sí, lo tiene correcto. No será la comilla que, que divide la, el apóstrofe de la N y la T. Puede ser. Sí, porque así como lo veo. Inténtalo. Este que... eh... Y si escribo not, 
No, 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 no. No. No, um, solo cambie, eh, no sé cuál está utilizando, que, que, vale, ya lo cuál, cambié, la, que... la, cuál apóstrofo está utilizando. Es que hay uno que está inclinado y uno que está ahí en el perfil ahorita, lo acabo de cambiar. No. No. Va, intent, no, no, no. intente este. ¿Qué le dio? Ahorita la estoy pegando ya. Okay. No sé qué pasa, Tiche, pero hoy sí me dio. Sí, no, o sea, no se preocupe, no. que no es el único. Pero bien, me parece raro. Es el único ejercicio que me dio problemas. Los únicos. Solo dos me salieron buenos los demás. Uh -huh. Y ver cómo, cómo he estudiado estos terceros condicionales que hay. No, pero, más, más no, no que... pero es que este no está mal. O sea, lo que su respuesta no está mala. Es simplemente son, son detalles en la plataforma. Un, una coma, un, eh, un, una un espacio, o sea, no es, no es algo que está haciendo incorrecto, lo está haciendo bien, está haciendo muy bien. Ok, así que no se preocupe. Ok, gracias, Tisha. Ok. Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Eh, dice que en estos meses que me hace falta para terminar el año, yo voy a tener un pequeño problemita acerca de, pues voy a trabajar a este turno de noche. Eh, tengo otras capacitaciones de, con el INSAPOR que me duran hasta en diciembre, que son el, ese, el lavado de dinero, ¿verdad? que me están entrenando para eso. Y también un curso de... están entrenando eh, para eh, lavar dinero? Sí, eh, sí. Eh, 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 y mire, que, que son unos discursos tan largos y, y de ahí se nos hacen también exámenes. Y cada fin de mes nos hacen varios exámenes y las literaturas que hay que leer, uf, hay que leer bastante. ¿no? Y el tiempo que queda corto, pues... Eh, ay, voy a tener... Ya hablé con la... No sé qué es coordinadora de Inglaterra Forba, le expliqué todo eso. Y ella me dice, solo dígame el momento que pase cada cosa. Entonces, tío, pero estoy interesado bastante en aprender este idioma, ¿no? pero vamos a hacer la lucha, a ver cómo sigue. No, pero pero sí si tengo el tiempo bien apretado. Pero está haciendo muy bien, Mauricio, lo está haciendo excelente. Muy buen trabajo. Está haciendo excelentísimo. O sea, Gracias. por ejemplo, con, con, este, con este tema, no creo que es el único que ha tenido problemas con la plataforma. No es ustedes, es en sí, como le digo, a veces cómo está configurada la plataforma y todo, pero lo está haciendo muy bien. Eh, y uh, va a valer la pena. El, todo esfuerzo que haga va a valer la pena, le, le prometo. Solo tiene que tener un poco de paciencia y ya va a ir viendo cómo todo va a ir encajando. Oh, ok. Gracias. Así que no gracias. se preocupe, gracias. no se preocupe. Eh, pero, y ya estamos casi finalizando el año, así que, bueno, de hecho, haciendo cuentas, si no, mi, si no mal, me, si no mal, me, si no me, mal recuerdo, 
creo que sería solamente como un módulo más que faltaría de este, de este, de este año, porque es lo, lo único que el, se logra alcanzar para, para terminar el año. Ok, entonces, mm -hmm. solo uno más. Y después ahí descansa un poquito. Así que tranquilo. Ok, no se, no se estrese demasiado. Titicia, es una pregunta. Yo he oído muchos comentarios acerca de la intervención del Estado, acerca del INSAPOR. No sé, quizás no debería estarle preguntando eso, pero no sé si esto va a proceder el otro año de la misma manera. No les sabría decir. No, no, yeah. tengo, no tengo realmente el conocimiento al respecto. Uh, pero pero creo que no deberíamos de preocuparnos demasiado por eso creo Va. que eh, mejor aprovechemos el, el ahorita ¿verdad? Okay. que tenemos ¿verdad? o sea, yeah. ahorita tenemos esa oportunidad, ahorita aprovechémosla ok ok ok, okay. okay. Y gracias, gracias por el apoyo que me está dando no, no pasa gracias, ya muchas sabes. gracias es un placer. Cuídese okay. mucho, Mauricio, ¿ok? Y... Dios, Dios me la bendiga, hija. Gracias. Pase buen... buenas noches. Bueno, igual las pase. Ok, Bye. adiós. Bye. Bye.